Ladies and gentlemen, guys and gals, YouTubers, Warboss Tate Challengers, I think it's done. Or at the very least, I'm going to call it done. There's a couple things I still need to work on, but um, there are things that are going to take a little time and that I want to sit and practice on. But let me uh, go take a look at the questions. And while I answer each one of these questions, I will divide up the squads and give you all a better look. Alright? Sounds good to me. You guys are just going to have to deal with it. Alright, so the first question I managed to miss was, what was your favorite uh, childhood TV show? Um, I gotta say, I, I go all over the place with this, from things like Wishbone to uh, things like Street Sharks and Gargoyles. I mean, um... I gotta say, probably stuff like uh, the Crocodile Hunter and um, any sort of animal show is probably my favorite growing up. Uh, I was a sucker for Jeff Corwin and all of those. But um, I'm also going to work in my tertiary objective into this video uh, and give you just a brief glimpse of the fluff for the entire army. I know I already did a huge video with that, um, but since I'm wrapping up, I'm going to try and make this as quick as possible. Um, first up, I've got my sergeant here. Uh, got a plasma gunner. And I know you guys have seen a lot of these models already, so I apologize for being long-winded, I suppose. But, hey, I'm done, so. Um, let's see. I've got just a regular old marine here. This one was fun. Um, I haven't used the grenades before, so having the marine... Um, holding the bolter there and throwing the grenade. That was a f fun little conversion. Another regular old marine. Um, I really like these leather straps. I think painting them Rhinox, while it is really dark and close to that black, um, I really like how Rhinox looks. It's that real dark leather um, as opposed to a, a brighter, more reddish leather. Um, I really like this guy with the uh, brass uh, targeter there. Um, yeah. So, there's that fella. Good old Beaky. I really like these backpacks with the uh, skulls on them. I think they look pretty nice. Rhinox, again, for the, the strap there. And this was a guy that was mostly already done. Um, I really don't like using unhelmeted heads for anything but uh, sergeants. But a little nifty conversion on the backpack by cutting off the sword, so nothing special. But hey, that's one more to add to the list. Another uh, Bolter Marine. And last but not least, this was actually the first one that I ever did. Um, and you can tell because, uh, hopefully you can tell, there's actually some highlights on his robe, um, which is where I want to go with the army next, is to into the highlighting. So, um, like I said with my big fluff video. I kind of view the the army as um, sort of warrior monks uh, or even warrior priests or even to take it one step further into the uh, absurd maybe warrior librarians um, and not librarians in the sense of uh, the 40k but in the sense of actual bookkeepers. Um, I like to think of them as you know, dedicated to learning and dedicated to studying the teachings of uh, the lion and the emperor. So these are just your regular old troops, but um, I like to think that they're a little above average as far as uh, esoteric knowledge and um, knowing the word of the emperor and the lion. So let's get to the next and one. And at long last, the Finnish Devastator Squad. Let me see if I can brighten this up a little bit for y'all. Um, so, I've got my, uh, sergeant here with the, the Auspex. I, I want to go back and do a little more work on the Auspex screen, and I want to redo his backpack. Um, I just don't know how yet, so I'm kind of setting him off to the side. Um, but don't worry, because of that, I ended up doing an extra, um, Devastator here. So, first up, you've seen them all, mostly, but this is the finished product. All the arms actually went on surprisingly well. Didn't have to, to fight him or anything. So, get a good focus here. There's my uh, plasma gun, plasma cannon, excuse me. Uh, 
with his cool backpack. Laz Cannon. Strangely enough, not a lot of resources online to see what a Laz Cannon is supposed to be painted like, so kind of had to freeform that one. Um, next up, Heavy Bolter, you guys have seen. Of course, is a nifty backpack as well. Then we've got the Multi Melta. I'm pretty happy with the way it came out. I like those dark cables. Um, makes it a little more ominous, along with the, the red stripes on the backpack. Um, and then I've got this guy, Missile Launcher. Uh, rocket Launcher or whatever. Um, nothing really special here, but I, I did give him... I couldn't make the arm fit for this one, so I gave him a, a bolt pistol. Because he is running, so you're obviously not going to be shooting and running at the same time, right? That's a ridiculous waste of ammunition. Um, also, this is a really good choice to, for me to put in a uh, tactical squad just as an um, additional heavy weapon. So I like to see the, uh, the Devastators as, you know, the, <laughs> I guess the more um, studious in, in the way of leaning closer to uh, a scholar than a uh, warrior, um, but still, you know, absolutely able to, to wreak havoc, but those with calculating minds and uh, less fiery temperaments. So let's get on to some fiery tempers. And here they are. Guys, this was my favorite group to paint um, with just a few little conversions. I think they came out looking absolutely fantastic and I'm very happy with them. Um, again, it's my assault squad. Let's see, we've got the, this is the guy that I just recently put a base on. Um, the only one who uh, is standing. But I, I like to give him the weapons out like that so he looks like he's sort of either preparing for someone to come at him or preparing to launch. Um, these guys running. I really like how the Corvus hammers and the chain swords um, really sort of give themselves to positioning in different ways. I mean, these are, while they're the same um, weapons and even sort of on the same angles as far as where they're positioned, just the, the slight angle, uh, more drastic angle on the running figure makes it a lot more dynamic. Um, here's another one. I gave him sort of a look like he's gesturing off to the side with his. Really cool. Love those Crusader helmets. Love the Corvus hammers. And um, probably the mini that I'm, I don't know, most proud of, happiest with, I, I don't know, whatever you guys think. Um, so yeah, Thunder Hammer, I think he came out looking great. So, set him to the side. Now, I see these guys as um, basically what it means to be a Guardian of the Covenant. The uh, most important relic for the Guardians is um, their knowledge on defeated Xenos races. And uh, in my fluff, it's the Assault Company, Reserve Company, that is actually the keeper of those records. So these are, these are the Zealots. These are the, uh, the guys that go screaming into battle um, knowing that the Emperor protects and that, uh, you know, the Lion will give them strength. These are the ones that are inspiring and help to, to break the lines of the enemy and just, um, bring the Emperor's light to all those heathens out there. So let's look at the guys giving Last but commands. not least, we have my command squad. Um, I don't think I'm entirely happy with this, uh, squad. Uh, I'll tell you why here in a little bit. But just to uh, go through them one by one, I've got my um, my sergeant here. I really like how he came out. Love that Crusader helmet. I can't tell you enough. I know you've heard it from me over and over. Um, Apothecary, it's kind of growing on me more and more as I, as I look at him. Um, I don't know. I'm really still kind of on the fence about him. I love the, the black... Uh, robe here. Um, I thought when I when I do eventually get to 
doing this, the uh, slit in the robe here, right in the middle, for the regular Marines, I'm going to end up painting black, and for this guy, I'm going to end up painting red, but that is definitely something to do in <laughs> post-production, a real touch-up job. Um, now, this is probably my least favorite of all the ones that I did. Um, I don't know. I think the plasma gun turned out all right, but uh, I think it was a mistake to use the pointing hand, especially in the command squad. So I'm probably going to rotate him out with the other guy that I've got in my um, tactical squad. Just because it ends up being too many people with outstretched arms and pointing fingers. But all in all, I think the one-handed plasma turned out uh, pretty well. So, yeah. Uh, next up, my standard bearer. Again, you'll notice he still doesn't have a standard to bear. Um, I'm really not sure what to do um, with it. I mean, uh, whether or not to try and find a sculpted one that I can convert onto that, or paint one, or um, print one. So, um, I really like him. He doesn't have a backpack either, because I just actually picked up the backpack that will fit him with my Fitz purchase. So... That'll be another, you know, sort of down the road thing. And I'm, I'm pretty happy with this guy, the unit champion. Um, I really want to learn how to do some power swords, and I'm going to give that uh, a couple tries on some test figures before I launch into this fella. Um, I love that he's got the bolter back behind his, uh, the bolt pistol behind his shield there. Um, as soon as I can get a micro art pen, I'm going to go back and write some inspirational things on there. Now, these two are just kind of extras. Uh, the other unit champion that I made uh, for my uh, Inquisition game. Um, I'd really like to go back and retouch the shield a little bit. I think solid brass, it's a little too much. Uh, and again, work on the, the power sword. And really happy with how this guy came out. I think he looks great. Um, Terminator, Captain. Um, yeah, I think the combination of the gold and the brass and the red and the black and the silver really just turned out great. Um, and the sword, again, black, because I still got to work on that. Now, this thing was a challenge for me. And, like I said, I'm not entirely sure that I'm happy with it overall. Um, I, I think that, looking back, I could have done a better job. I mean, I can see the paint... Um, the way that the, the paint streaked a little bit. You can see some uh, areas where the glue was, like right above that sign there. Um, I don't know. It just, the, the paint seemed a little thick. Didn't come out exactly the way uh, that I would have liked it to. But I do want to use it for a couple reasons. First, I want to try and make a stencil for the back here. Um, and it's going to be the, the single sword that I've actually got on all my um, Marines. Here you can see the shoulder pad there. It's going to be the single sword pointed downwards uh, on this. I think the weapons came out pretty good. Um, still, I'd like to go back and add a little more detail. Um, let's see, let's get to the sides. Now, you can see I haven't quite finished my doors yet, but I'm going to be taking a good long time on these to make sure that I get them uh, the way I like them. Uh, these are Forge World doors and uh, as many of you will know it's hard for us in America to get Forge World and I don't want to rush through it. This is going to be like a oh, probably a week long thing just trying to make sure I get the colors right and pick out all those really great details. Um, again you can see the paint uh, didn't go on too smooth. I, I can't say I'm happy with this. Um, I'd, I'd pull it off except for the fact that it would leave a mark. Um, so this may end up simply being my test rhino um, for other things. I'd really like to do some weathering on it. Um, yeah, I like my stuff to look a little gritty. And I think that would really add a lot to this, uh, to, to have that. As far as the fluff goes, um, 
according to Games Workshop, even uh, in one of the, oh, the Death Watch supplement, these guys have a pretty close connection to the Adeptus Mechanicus. So I want to try and bring in um, armor where I can. And for the Command Squad, I kind of see them as the balance between the two, uh, the Devastators and the Assault Squads, uh, where they they know more than the average tactical squad and they certainly are the leaders of the uh, company but they don't have the uh, disadvantages that the assault or um, devastator squads have of being either overly zealous or overly scholarly um, again uh, the assault squad I see almost like chaplains uh, in their fervor, and um, the Devastators definitely more reserved, uh, but these are the the ones that blend the two together and have the, the zeal for the Lion and the Emperor while still maintaining um, the tactical acumen and knowledge to successfully lead their uh, their soldiers. So there you go guys. I hope you enjoyed this challenge. I know I did. Um, my YouTube channel has come a long way. 43 subscribers is absolutely blowing my mind. And uh, I hope to have some more content for you guys coming up. I really apologize for these videos being so long lately. But just had to make sure I get all the information out there. Um, so, you guys have a great rest of the challenge. I'm going to keep posting videos. I'm going to keep commenting watching all yours, and I hope you enjoy. Bye.